Hi, I'm Molly Wood, and welcome to The Buzz Report, the show about the tech news that everyone is talking about. This week, Mobile World Congress in Barcelona demolished the phone and tablet world as we know it. Apple demolished app developer revenues, and computers are poised to demolish humans. But first, it's the Gadget of the Week. The Gadget of the Week is the Ha Ha. That is so cute how you think there's only one Gadget of the Week this week. It's Mobile World Congress time, people. It is raining phones and tablets. And you know what that means. It's time for a Buzz Report Gadget Palooza edition. Let's jump right in, shall we? First up, the phones. The worst kept secret in tech these days? The PlayStation phone. It's real now, and it's called the Sony Xperia Play. Android gingerbread, four inch screen, PlayStation controls, and you know the getting's good when that is like the eh phone of the show. Next up, the Samsung Galaxy S2. Samsung says it's the world's thinnest smartphone, now featuring dual core processors, eight megapixel cameras, and there are Wi Fi only versions of the Galaxy S devices that will take on the iPod Touch. Bold show, Samsung. We finally got hands on with the LG Optimus 3D, which does look awfully 3D promising. And then HTC came out swinging. They announced the Cha Cha and the Salsa, which are Android smartphones that have dedicated Facebook buttons, which I don't care what you say. I would use that. F is for Facebook. Also, HTC announced updated versions of the Wildfire, the Desire, and the incredibly popular Incredible by upping all their specs and then putting an S after each name. S is for smartphone? Okay, but that is just the phones. What about the tablets? There was the HTC Flyer, a seven inch gingerbread tablet, the nine inch LG Optimus Pad, which is a dual core honeycomb beast that takes 3D video. We also got a look at the HP Touchpad, which is the one I think is super promising looking. It brings that WebOS interface to a 10 inch dual core touchscreen, nice. And then Samsung dropped the Tab 10.1, which is a 10 inch version of the Galaxy Tab. It includes 4G, honeycomb, an eight megapixel camera on the back, and then one on the front too. People, when it rains tablets, it hails tablets. And to think, some people go to Barcelona for the jamón. Delicious. And while all that was happening, iPhone 5 rumors were raining down all over the place too. Reports this week suggested Apple might have three future iPhone prototypes, ranging from a much smaller, cheaper iPhone, like an iPhone Nano, to a phone with a nice big four inch screen, to one that actually has a slide out keyboard. Which, come on, if Apple does a phone with a keyboard, I'll eat an iPhone 4. But I would like to see them do an iPhone shuffle. It would just randomly call people in your address book. It's social. Speaking of Apple, the company also announced a new subscription service this week that lets you sign up for movies, magazines, video, and newspapers through apps on your phone. But the app developers have to give Apple a 30% cut of all new subscriber money. And they can't include links in their apps to let people go buy content, like say, a Kindle book, outside of the app. Yes. The most dominant app marketplace on the web is demanding a 30% rake off the top of every transaction that happens in its territory, and also making sure that hardly any transactions don't happen in its territory. I gotta hand it to Apple. That is some straight up ballsy mafia right there. And finally, everyone, the singularity is here. If that's what they call it when computers officially become smarter than humans, I think it's safe to say we have arrived. The supercomputer Watson, equipped with just 2,880 CPUs operating at 80 teraflops and 15 terabytes of RAM, put the hurt on champions Ken Jennings and Brad Rutter at Jeopardy this week. Cambridge for 1200. In 1546, this king founded Trinity College, the largest of Cambridge's colleges. Watson, who is Henry VIII? You are right again. Let's finish etude brute. It used artificial intelligence and natural language interpretation to decipher quiz answers and then deliver the correct responses in the form of a question. Mark my words, people, the age of the machines is here. Civilization is both doomed and saved. But I think the real question here is, what does a computer do with the money it wins? Go to Disneyland? No, we still got one on you, Terminators. And that's the Buzz Report for this week, everyone. I'm Molly Wood, and thank you for watching. 
we come to Watson. We're looking for Bram Stoker. And we find who is Bram Stoker and the Razor. Hello, 17,973, 41,413, and a two-day total of 77,147.